I was sitting here taking my my clan battles uh, season survey, and I thought, why sh why shouldn't we talk about this together? Hey, there we go. And then what if we what if we moved me? This is a last minute idea. So as ideas go, this one is like quarter baked. <laughs> I didn't hate the season that badly. I thought it was fine. What if I do that and then we make it like smaller? But like higher resolution, more pixels. I'm going to go back to my normal spot, I think, now that I made the browser bigger. And we are going to take this survey together. And we're going to see. I thought the season was like seven. It was like fine. Um, what did I like about clan battles this season? I liked that there was only one ship of a... Uh, let's see. I like that there were no duplicate ships. Let's make this more clear. There were no duplicate ships allowed. I preferred that because one thing I really liked about this that I did not expect. Hello, Warco. Oh, by the way, Hershey Hanks, um, thank you for the gift sub or that you've continued. So Ice Cube gifted you a gift sub here, it looks like, is what this message seems to be telling me. And you've continued your sub. So thank you so much. I very much appreciate that. Um, you know, the, the channel gets... Uh, a certain amount of support from those of you guys who are real diehards, and I appreciate that you're willing to, to throw a couple of bucks this way. Um, as I often say, like nobody has to support this channel, but when you guys choose to, it's very helpful, um, and I appreciate it a ton. So um, anyway, so thank you very much. Uh, by the way, welcome everybody. Odie's here, Frost Knight's here, I'm here. We got Bowmaster, Hershey Hanks is here, Scott is here, Streamlabs is here, I guess. That robot, uh, Warco, welcome. Um, what's up, Ike? And uh, I think that's everybody who's chatted. All you lurkers, you're welcome as well. We're super stoked to have you here. Dude, a blast from the past. It's time is here. How are you? So we're just taking this quick survey. I like that there were no duplicate ships. One of the things that I really liked about this is on my team, I could say, hey, you know, hey, Moskva, can you hit your radar right now? And nobody had to say, which Moskva? I liked that a lot. Or we could say, target that Stalingrad. Let's burn down this small end. And everybody knew immediately what ship I was talking about. Now that's like a that's like a side thing that would happen. It's not really why the, the duplicate ships were banned. They were banned for other reasons, but I really like that about this season. It made communication very, very smooth, um, which is pretty good. <laughs> Bowmaster. Hey, what's up, Mick? How you doing, man? Warco, I'm glad you like the NASA hat. I had a patch. I had a hat. I put them together. I said, why not have a NASA hat? Um, so anyway, I really liked that. Um, I liked n not having to worry about CVs, subs, or super ships. Um, okay, what did I not like about this clan battle season? Did I actually have anything I didn't like? The things I didn't like about the season are my team, my clan, did not get to our normal league. That's not World World of Warships' deal. That could have been a result of it only being seven weeks instead of nine weeks. But I kind of liked the seven-week season because I get exhausted at the end of a clan battle season. I didn't like... I'm going to actually make a joke in here. I didn't like that my team didn't reach our normal... No, our normal league, because we only got to silver. We normally get to gold, um, but we didn't get there this season. Our normal league. Aha, uh -huh. but that's on us. Um, I didn't like that teams were allowed. I'm, I'm just going to bring that up, Scotta. Yep, I, I like your comment there. Hey, Bishy, how are, thing, how are things going with you? I'm doing well. How teams were allowed to have three mercs. That's way too many, and it's like you're not even playing that clan. That's way too many. Clans were able to skill boost with high skill mercs that belied the actual skill 
of the actual clan. I think that's a true statement. And honestly, we we borrowed a merc on the last week. Uh, we borrowed a SFNL from the stream. He merced with us for a few battles. We used a single merc from a very skilled clan. Um, but that's the first time I have ever done that, right? I've had mercs before, and I've had good mercs before. Um, and of course, you know, we know SFNL from the stream, so that's okay. It's different. And I think everybody has a, oh, well, it's different because, but three people comes in and that really changes the balance of your clan's capabilities, right? If I murked, if you got three of me to go merc for like ban CV, we would bring the skill of ban CV down. The three Clydes would ruin ban CV's capabilities, right? If three band CV players, three 07 players, three smile players came to play with my clan, they would make us way better than we really are, right? One or two is probably a big enough change as it is in a seven player versus seven player match. But dude, it's insane. Yeah, Scotta says it right there, right? Three dudes from Gale can definitely do that. I'm gonna put the browser down below. I'm, I'm realizing we're not getting your guys' chat up on there. Sorry guys. Again, I wasn't really planning to do this tonight. I just thought it would be kind of interesting. So that's one of my beefs with clan battles right now um, is the number of mercs. Now, I also understand why the number of mercs is there, I think. And I think it's because it's hard to get seven people together, right? And so if you can pull together four, shouldn't you be able to play clan battles? No, is the answer, right? You shouldn't. Or we should adjust the number of players in clan battles, in my opinion. Okay, let's go on to the next page and see what's what. All right, did you like that it was tier 10s for this season of clan battles? I want a different answer here. The answer is, yeah, that's fine. But I also like other tiers. So I'm gonna say yes. And, oh, it's gonna give me the answer to talk about that. Okay, cool. I would like to play all of these tiers in clan battles. I think we should do clan battles. I was joking the other day that we should do clan battles at tier three, and I would sign up so hard. I told you guys I would rock my Oleg, or my Koenig Albert, or my Vampire the First, Empire, Vampire the First inning. It'd be fantastic. We're talking about tier nine clan battles in here. I would legitimately play any of these tiers in clan battles. I played the tier six clan battles and it was a little bit rote, um, but I would I would do it again. I, I don't have a problem with that at all. Do you like the number of players per team that was selected for clan battles? I kind of want to say no here. I wonder if, you know, six would be better for us. You know? So what if I do this and I say, what? how many players do you think is appropriate? I'm gonna say five, six, seven. Oh, by the way, something crazy happened today and I told people on uh, tw uh, in Discord and I told people on Twitter, this happened on Twitch at four in the morning, my time. People, uh, people World of Warships is following me. I think it's because I tweeted at them angrily about matchmaking a month ago and they're keeping their eyes on me. That's what I think's going on. I got all, I had like five games in a row where I had like a 400 point average XP gap and I angrily went to Twitter at midnight and I said, World of Warships, stop. Please fix matchmaking, stop. You guys gotta knock this crap off, stop. It's been seven years, fix it. Eh, whatever, what can we do? Bunch of crazies. Anyway, that happened today. I don't know what it means. It probably means nothing. I'm pretty sure they just went through and they found a bunch of Twitch streamers that have a thousand followers and said, yeah, this guy plays World Warships. But I thought it was interesting to talk about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I do not wish for a mysterious death. I don't really, I'm not really looking, for, looking forward to death at all, actually. How do you feel about the number of battleships? No more than two. Uh, I think that's fine. A single battleship would be cool too, but then you'd have a lot more radar and stuff. And I'm a destroyer player, so I don't want more radar. So I'd rather have two battleships that I can farm and torpedo rather than another radar cruiser in the match, personally. Uh, what is the maximum number of battleships that you think would be optimal? I think it's probably two. Um, I don't, I think they've really centered in on that. I like the two battleship balance personally. Scott is already one step ahead of me on that, Odie. He's got the, he's doing tester things. So he's already in the World of Warships family and I am not. I'm gonna put you guys over here, you chatters. 
Uh, let's see. How do you feel about the fact that aircraft carriers were not allowed? That is positive. What is the maximum number of aircraft carriers? Zero, please. I mean, I understand that we're going to have aircraft carriers, but as a destroyer main, I don't want them um, to happen. Hershey says, I'm an extreme in an extremely casual squall clan. Our last match on Sunday, there were three mercs from good game well played in the match. Felt bad. Total steamroll as you'd expect. Yeah, man. I mean, it, it happened to us too this season where we'd be playing along and there'd be two or three guys from a well-known, you know, King of the Sea style clan. Um, and it's it's rough when those guys roll in with a bunch of noobs that you know you can beat, right? But I don't, I mean, right now it's not against the rules. I, there's there's nothing wrong with it per se but it is kind of what it is okay let's continue on what was your impression of the matchmaker during the clan battle season the matchmaker uh the matchmaker in clan battles is notoriously dumb it doesn't do anything like it just lit I, i'm pretty sure it takes a little while it's it's fine uh, I liked the speed. The speed is fine. I don't care. In terms of opponent matching quality, listen, you don't want me to talk to you guys about this. World of Warships does, like, we faced gold and beyond clans multiple times when we weren't even in the struggle to get out of silver. So, like, that's not reason. Gold is not unheard of. That's not unreasonable. But when I'm facing a clan from, like, Hurricane or whatever one is after gold, that's silly. In terms of. A I liked some things and disliked others. I don't want to answer a bunch of your dumb questions about this. If you have comments about opponent matching quality, you can share them here. Hmm, okay, now I have to think about how I want to put this into words. Yeah, yeah, we played a lot of high level storm, like high level storm clans. There's probably people in here who are like hurricane and typhoon level folks who are like these, these, these noobs. And that's okay. Like we are a very, very, very average clan made up of very, very, very average players. Um, that's definitely where we're at. I mean, I feel like uh, often we were facing a mix of high skill clans. We faced a lot of clans that we should have beaten and we didn't though. So some of that's on us this season. <clears throat> I'll say this, it seems that often uh, we are mat uh, matched with clans from gold one when we are in silver two or three, and that doesn't make much sense to me. Also, uh, uh, Gale or Squall clans that feature three members of 07 are not Gale or Squall clans, and yet they are matched that way. We gotta do something about the triple Merc problem, period. All right, we'll see how that goes. Plenty of taters to go around here. Nah, don't worry about that, Bo. There's, yeah, there. that is a whole thing, dude. I potatoed a bunch of games this season. There's a bunch of games this last week where I could look at anybody who was in the clan except for maybe the battleships who were out first, right? It happens. Sometimes you just get pinned down and it's not you. It's that they did something really good. Okay, next page. How do you feel about the presence of identical ships in a team was disallowed? I liked it. It prevented boring... Uh, let's see. It prevented teams from settling into the same few ships over and over. As a fringe benefit, it also made communication easier. As it was, as there was no confusion when calling out an enemy target, period. But yeah, I think CVs have, they did, you know, this may be an unpopular opinion. I like, I like what Scott is saying though. I think CVs deserve a place in clan battles they're a ship they're in the game we should treat them like a ship that's in the game 
That said, we know how CVs are so powerful and so capable. It could be really, really crazy. It's it's always kind of a crazy mix up when they bring them in, you know, and so it, it's tough, especially in a small player match. One of the things that makes CVs a little more bearable in a 12v12 is that CVs are very weak when there are 12 enemy ships. As the number of enemy ships comes lower and lower and lower, there's less AA and CVs are better able to isolate and sink individual ships. And that starts in that kind of position in clan battles. Now, in clan battles, we can coordinate a little bit better. And if we had to coordinate AA power, we could do that too. Although I think people would probably choose to optimize other things, but. I mean, with CVs, that's the other thing Scott brings, brings out, that DDs become maybe a little less popular in a battle where you've got CVs and subs, right? You'd have better scouts in the CVs, and you'd have good first strike capability in the destroy in the submarines. So if you could figure that out, that'd be crazy. Did you like the available rewards this season for clan battles? Yes. Uh, a free XP. Steel. Steel. Oh, I didn't get steel from my clan's treasury, but I like that as a possible reward. Cole. Cole. Elite Commander XP. I'm never going to get a clan token, so you guys can just F right off with that one. Oh, potato clans. Um, Combat signals. Oil's good, too. Special economic signals. I don't know. Those are probably the best ones. I don't really... I mean, oil we can get. We can get oil otherwise. If they want to give me more oil with that, that'd be great. But You may leave feedback about the rewards. Love the XP and credit rewards for clan battles. Obviously, steel and treasury resources are excellent rewards as well. And always use more. Okay, let's see. That's pretty cool, right? Boop, boop, boop. They should give out Chivos if you participate without Mercs. No kidding. That's like the perfect attendance award in grade school or whatever. Oh God, you came to school even when you were sick. Good job. No, that's not really it. But the idea that, yeah, like if you use mercs, that should cost you something. I like that. That's a good idea. You lose 20% of your... You knew seven people and you tricked them into playing World of Warships. You know what I have done for six years is meet people, ask them if they like video games, and then try to trick them into playing World of Warships with me. I have, I have chewed through so many friends... <laughs> trying to get them into this game <laughs> and now i'm doing it online i'm doing it on twitch i'm pulling every you know you guys who showed up to go what's this world warships thing all about i'm like yes play ships start a clan play games the only reason kablamo and i even know each other is because of world of warships man and he was looking for a clan it worked out great we're so glad to know you kablamo you trick people into playing? I can barely get my friends to look at the game. It's hard to make get people to play this game because it's so different from every other video game that they play. But man, I'm telling you, the the smartest people I know really like the idea of this game. Not all of them like playing it, but like I'm telling you, people love this game. It's so hard. It's harder than people give it credit for. Yeah, that's the trouble. Is like when we can field seven, I don't want to play against organized clans with 40 high skill players because we're super average you know anyway how do you feel about the restriction of the number of mercenaries negative i am negative i think optimal is one or zero optimal is zero like don't have mercs you dorks go make friends yeah, I agree, Scotta. Scotta says I said one Merc tops. I think having one is fair, right? I've we ran two Mercs on the last week. I had to run two Mercs for a big number of the big number of the matches. Uh, Ike, we will not participate in COTS. We barely get our crap together for clan battles. And I don't know that I know COTS is a huge tournament with hundreds of teams. Uh, we would be out very early. <laughs> I don't think we would last very long in COTS. Um, but also like just the ability uh, or the the uh, the organization required to do that and clan battles is probably a bit much for our clan. We're a little more casual than that. Zing, Scotta, zinging them with cots. 
The, the World of Warship Spring Tournament is coming, you guys. It's coming. Okay. Uh, please evaluate your activity. I actively participated in it. Our clan plays one uh, night per week. So we don't log in on every single night but we played every week this season. I even joined the Wargaming NA staff for a couple... Well, I'm not going to mention that. I don't know if they're supposed to play. <laughs> I mean, they're obviously doing it on the official channel. I even joined Bogzi and Oscons for a couple of matches on the official stream. Plans are a hoot. And I think that's it. We're going to submit it. Oh, I told everyone. <laughs> I made movies about it and I put them on the YouTubes. I didn't. It was weird to me that like not very many people were interested in playing with those guys. They were just like, whatever. I ain't playing none of them worlds of warships. And I was like, yeah, you should. It's freaking fun. People just wanted to... I, I don't know. I think people are intimidated by clans. And then I think some people are just genuinely not interested. And that, to me, is strange. Yeah, if you're just looking to grind steel, let me tell you, it is emotionally and physically and actually easier to do it in ranked. Ranked, you don't have to, like, coax people into playing. You don't have to deal with people when they get when they're not winning you don't have to try to like make sure everybody has a position or like any of that it's not pardon my language um it's so much easier just to play ranked like it's so easy if you just want steel just play ranked but if you really want to play the best way this game is played you've got to play clans it is the absolute best way to experience world warships